Welcome to this ABC Vascular Ultrasound video lecture on the lower limb venous system, ultrasound anatomy and identification of the abdominal and thigh vein. The main deep veins of the thigh are the common femoral vein, the profonda femoral vein, and the femoral vein, previously called the superficial femoral vein. All these deep thigh veins are adjacent to a satellite artery, therefore we have the common profunda and superficial femoral arteries. The main superficial vein of the thigh is the great saphenous vein. The great saphenous vein communicates with the deep system by joining the common femoral vein through the saphenofemoral junction. To identify the common femoral vein, position the transducer in cross-sectional view in the groin and you will identify the common femoral artery, the common femoral vein and the great saphenous vein. This is the so-called Mickey Mouse and represents the saphenofemoral junction. From the common femoral vein, you can see the great saphenous vein which leaves the common femoral vein and continues in the medial aspect of the thigh. Looking carefully at the saphenofemoral junction, we can see here the saphenofemoral junction, the terminal valve which is typically located at this level, and then we have the origin of the great saphenous vein and the anterior accessory saphenous vein. These two veins can share a common origin or they can have a separate one. If we focus our attention on the great saphenous vein, we can see that there is the terminal valve over here, and by moving the transducer in longitudinal further down, we can identify another valve. This is the preterminal valve. The great saphenous vein continues from the groin down through the medial aspect of the thigh and calf. To identify the great saphenous vein, use a transverse view and move the transducer all the way down in the territory of the great saphenous vein in the thigh and in the calf. The great saphenous vein presents with a typical appearance in which the saphenous compartment mimics the Egyptian eye. It is contained within two fascias. There is the saphenous fascia, which is the more superficial one, and there is the other fascia, which is deeper, and is the apneuretic deep fascia. This is the typical appearance of the superficial veins, which are the great saphenous vein and the small saphenous vein. Starting from the groin, move the transducer further down to identify the venous femoral bifurcation. We can see the arterial bifurcation first, and then more distally, there is the venous femoral bifurcation. Thus we can see the femoral vein and the profunda femoral vein. By moving the transducer back to the groin using a longitudinal view, we can better appreciate the anatomy of the femoral bifurcation. Again we can see the common femoral vein here that divides into the femoral vein and profunda femoral vein. You can see that the arterial bifurcation has already divided, and we can see that the common femoral vein is just posterior to the superficial femoral artery. You can probably better appreciate this using colour flow. You can see that the venous femoral bifurcation is more distal compared to the arterial bifurcation. From this level, move the transducer further down, distally into the thigh, to identify the femoral vein. The femoral vein lies posteriorly to the superficial femoral artery, and you can appreciate this both in cross-section and longitudinal views. This is an important landmark, especially in the presence of pathology. Therefore, we have arterial flow superiorly compared to the venous flow. This will be different when we approach the calf veins, where the popliteal vein is actually superior compared to the artery.